Soldier's Peak. DLC time, let's go. We are going way past it and then back around. <laughs> and here we are. Soldier's Peak. Make us breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. Uh, Andraste's blood. How did you find that path on your own? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Uh, just tell me. It came to me in my dreams. When I was a lad, I tried going through the tunnel by myself. Got horribly lost. But every now and again since, I've dreamt of it. Uh, that's a bit weird. That's, that's fade related then. <laughs> Why didn't you mention this before? I didn't want you to think I was some moon-addled simpleton. I've me wits about me, but enough of that. I'll follow you from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Aye. Some people call this place the Lost Peak. Before King Merrick's decree, the last Grey Wardens of Ferelden lived here. I just got chills. Cool. Uh, we need to turn this off and on. Oh, this reminds me of that time. Uh, wait, what, is, what does Shale have in the way of weapons? Uh, do, do, do. Small fire crystal. Do I have anything better than that? No. And large fire crystal. I guess I put those on and got rid of everything else. So they're probably the best things I could have had. Sure. I guess we will see. We will use this DLC as an opportunity to see how Shell performs. I hear monsters. Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the Wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hole up like cowards. We follow the King's advice, then. Starve them out. But the peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. Hmm. What was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. I've heard an Orlesian ballad about something like this. A beauty trapped in a dream. In the song, Belisa never wakes up. Your prissy friend here is making me nervous, Warden. How is this even possible? The place must truly be haunted. The veil is thin here. The circle tower was that way too. The veil? <laughs> That's what separates us from the Fade and Demons. Demons? Thank Andraste you came, Warden. <sighs> After you. Just out here blowing this dude's mind. <laughs> okay. We have an exploration area, it appears. So we came from there. That was a very one-way bit up there. Okay, so. Uh this is this is fine. <laughs> this is this is okay. New quest, Ancient History. Learn more about the history of Soldier's Peak. You've uncovered some of the history. Maybe there's more to learn. And then we also got some codex stuff. The History of Soldier's Peak, Chapter 1. The Grey Warden base at Soldier's Peak was built in the middle of the Glory Age, several decades after the Second Blight was ended. Before then, Grey Wardens in Ferelden would take up residence in castles and forts that belonged to generous nobles. Warden Commander Gaspar Asturian desired a fortified headquarters where his forces could train and live. He planned that Soldier's Peak would be a city unto itself. The defeat of the Darkspawn and the Archdemon Zazikel was fresh in the minds of the Ferelden people, and many were willing to donate gold to build Commander Aster uh, Asturian's for fortress. Soldier's Peak was fully completed within ten years and dedicated to the Maker in 934 glory. And then, presumably, everything went to shit.
Does... Does Threaten not have any upkeep? Uh, sustained. Upkeep, 35. So why is Shale not using it? Because, like, Wind's thing is sustained, and she has it on, and she, she is missing some mana. But Shale is not missing any mana. Will he activate it as when she goes in battle? Huh. Oh, One hello. Never expects creatures like those, really. Yes, she does. Okay. Going. And I'm off. Okay. Went all right to begin with. Oh, hello. Yes. And I'm off. Oh, I'll save that from there. Hey, bitches! Fuck off! I don't have the mana! Is there more? Oh my god! Folks, please. <laughs> Hello, Warden Master Scout, eh? Oh, you've got some help on you. No complaints from me. Shale was definitely pulling her weight. Okay, I think that's everything except for up here. Got a way inside there. Anything else around here? No. Okay, in we go. Cheeky autosave, very good, very good. The men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men, I won't lie to you. The situation is grim. Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns. Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men, stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. So brave, even when starving, and my great-great-grandmother stood with them. 
King Arland was a tyrant? Not much is known of King Arland. The War of Succession that followed his death, now that was a piece of work. Lasted nearly a decade, and almost burned Denerim and the palace to the ground. Loads of history was lost, but maybe there's answers to that inside. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. Okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Break room. Arcane horror, fuck. Oh, this is gonna go badly. Bro, can I move yet? They're not even in the room. The music's still going. Is anything else spawning? No, it just hadn't ended. Okay, so Shale did die, but doesn't have any injury because Wind's thing worked. That's good. Uh, but we do need to. And that's off and on again. We wouldn't just be standing there, but no. Shale practically soloed that fight because I got stunned, and then Leliana and Wind decided to just fucking stand out here doing absolutely nothing. Hello. Statement of defiance. This poster reads, on these grounds, virtuous men stood against the tyrant. They stood defiant and stood for freedom, and they died. It is signed by the Grey Warden defenders who were besieged by King Arlen's forces. Captain Mello, the Black Ferret, Chair Thrower Lopez, Sir Derek of Orlay, and Jason the Longbow, Alan the Quibbler, Cartography Martyr, David the Silent, Dustin the Colorblind, Avenger the Bovine of the Bovine Brethren, Farrell the Feral, <laughs> Sir Graham the Untiring, and Jason Sansley Argonauts. <laughs> Jason and the Argonauts. Uh, Langley the Nefarious, Lucky Lacuna, Mad Dog Smedos, Matthias the Bloody, McGurk the Vile Priest, Melissa the Magical Malefactor, Om the Stretched, and Packrat Dirksen. Sergeant Red Morrison, Santos the Silent Scimitar, Vitriolic Eric, Weak Eye Santos, and Wellburn the Exhaustive Fire. Sure. I feel like those have got to be like, some of it, I mean, some of it was just jokes, but some of it has got to be like dev names that they put in or something. Uh, right. Hello. A letter from Ban Mathuin Wolf. Sophia, Al Ruan and his entire family have been slaughtered, even the children. The Ruan line is no more and the Arling belongs to the crown for now. Arlen believed Ruan was plotting against him. Ruan criticised the king's spending on Wintersend. That is all. It was an idle word, spoken out of turn. The king goes too far. His brain is filled with madness, and he clings to the crown like a drowning man clutches at a straw. Sophia, I beg you, help us. If nothing is done, more will suffer. Your humble servant, Wolf. It's saving time. Right, now, which way? Uh, over this way is just a room on its own. Hello, Commander. That was easy. Music, you can stop. <laughs> My god. Really wish that music would fucking shut up when the fight's over. What now? A plea from Commander Athlar. Soldier's Beak is more than we bargained for. There is sinister magic at work here. The men are seeing things and cannot tell nightmares from reality. The fallen return to life to attack again and again, and we are assaulted by dark creatures the likes of which I have never seen. Whoever is responsible is intent on destroying us all, the King's army and the Grey Wardens both. 
Send help. We cannot last much longer. Ripperoni. Okay. Anyone in the kitchen? Not. Yoink. Can't go in there. Library. <laughs> No one left! Oh my goodness. Archivist's book. This book is badly burned. You can make a word out here and there, and that is all. The door won't hold, Archivist. Almost done. The, the truth must be told. What does it matter? We're dead. Our grand rebellion so close. And to die here, a stillbirth. We never should have done it. Wardens aren't supposed to oppose kings and princes. Should we stand idly by? Another one. Rebellion? What's this about a rebellion? If only the book weren't burned. Uh, maybe there are other records. We can only hope. Shit must have been real bad if they were doing a rebellion. The History of Soldier's Peak, Chapter 2. Or not. Uh, why is that going to be? Cultural history. As he approached his 60th year, rumours swell that the corruption in Warden Commander Asturian's blood was be beginning to take its toll. According to reports from that time, the commander experienced terrifying waking dreams and heard his name whispered from the dark corners of Soldier's Peak. It is said that Asturian would spend hours locked up alone in the Great Hall of the base, muttering to himself, though no one was ever able to make out what he was saying. Many also believe that Asturian began, in secret, to draw up plans to expand his fortress, adding to it hidden passages and alcoves, all to protect himself from the shadows that pursued him. No one knows whether Asturian was able to complete his project, for his deterioration had become obvious to anyone who spent any amount of time with him. He was quickly replaced by Warden Commander Frida Halwick. Asturian was taken to Orzammar, where he submitted to the calling, the last rite of the Grey Wardens, and went to his death with honour. What was the calling again? Have we heard about that? Uh, is there going to be one called the calling or anything? Uh... Do -do -do. <laughs> Seems like no. It's not going to be in notes. Hmm. Can't remember. Can't remember what that was. If we've even heard of it before. We maybe haven't. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I guess we should save. Of course, it auto saves as soon as I manually save. Fuck you, game. How fucking dare you? Uh. <laughs> Let's look in. 
like some spooky action at a distance over there. Make them pay for every inch, men! <laughs> Hold the flank! Avernus, we need you! Nelatep obrasuth sifam net vekhan. Andraste's blood! What? More of Ernest! Whatever it takes! Kaili a Benfotos Victos! Press them! Press them now! No! I command you, fight the king's men! Fool! So much death! Suffering, and oh yes, blood. The veil is torn now. Your soul is mine, Avernus. Acolytes, retreat now. The battle is lost. You Avernus! dumb motherfucker. What just happened? Oh no, more fighting. So the fucking... Wardens thought it was a good idea to summon demons to help. That seems like never a good idea. Okay, we need to... Summon demons. Can't believe it. And my grandmother, she knew. Man, that was a big fight. I really wonder how we would have done with Alistair there. Shale seems like really good. <laughs> that's that's my first impressions. Is that Shale is seeming really good. And combining that with I, I think wins like constant healing must be doing wonders for it. Because like that was that was a lot of enemies. That was a lot of enemies. And powerful ones too. And like the the ones that were spawning at the edges of the room were using magic and shit, and we still first tried it. I don't know if that's like I don't know yeah I don't know if we would have managed that if we had Alistair instead of Shale. It just feels like Shale is really good at drawing that aggro. Like I I've put like four skills on it, but uh draw the fucking aggro I and it's working. That my family was better than that. Oh god. But answers may lay up ahead. I didn't mean to click that. I knocked the A button. Fuck. I don't even know what we responded to him with. Shit. No oh, well. My bad. My bad. Wait, what the fuck did we just get? God damn it. We just got something cool. Uh This? Winter's breath? Uh hello. It's like <laughs> it's almost identical to mine. It's it's called Winter's Space Breath, and I have 
winter's breath <laughs> the one word that's uh very weird why would they why would they make a different weapon that is named such an almost identical thing uh same on all of the base stuff and then same 25 percent cold resistance but then 15 percent cold damage instead of 10 percent but it doesn't have plus three spell power hmm So you're getting, the trade-off is the new one, you get an extra 5% cold damage in exchange for 3 less general spell power. I think I'd rather have the general spell power, right? I think that's overall better. Now we're getting all these injury kits and we don't fucking need them! <laughs> Couldn't find injury kits for shit before. Running out. Uh, did it auto save? I can't remember, so we're gonna do it ourselves. Lovely. Raspberry Jam? What? Music, please, cease. <laughs> oh my goodness. Raspberry Jam. It's history of History of Soldiers Peak, Chapter 3. It loves not opening the right thing for these ones. After Asturian's death, the rumours and theories became increasingly outlandish. One of the more ridiculous rumours told of Asturian's infatuation with an elven princess of lore whom he was trying to resurrect in secret in a secret ritual chamber through the use of blood magic and the princess's favourite food, raspberry jam. Warden Commander Frida Halwick launched a thorough investigation into Asturian's secret plans, but was unable to uncover any evidence that anything in Soldier's Peak had been changed. Commander Halwick declared that the rumours about Asturian were a slight on his memory, and that anyone found repeating them would be harshly punished. The stories were thus silenced. I guess we're coming here later. Commander's quarters. Uh, hi. Step no further, Warden. This one would speak with you. Oh. <laughs> hi. Uh, who or what are you? This one is the Dryden. Commander. Sophia. <laughs> All these things. Grandmother? You have slain many of the demon ilk to get here. This one would propose a deal. Uh, is anything of the real Sophia left inside you? This one has tasted her memories, seen her thoughts and hidden places. But she is food for this one. No more, no less. Uh, and why should I trust a demon? What is one woman child compared to your might? Strike me down if my terms offend. A fool this one would be to betray the warden. True. Uh, Levi, I'm afraid your great-great-grandmother is possessed. That or she's really let herself go. <laughs> my great-great-grandmother is dead. I don't know what that is. Tell me about this deal. You can't be serious. There's nothing left of Commander Dryden. She's possessed. Your fledgling should mind its place. Meek, subservient, quiet. This one will answer your question. The soldier's peak traps me. This one sees so many tantalizing places in the Dryden's memories. This one would see the world herself. For me to be free, into the old mage tower you go and destroy. In return, this one seals the veil. No more demons. No more enemies. Your peak would be safe. Just let this one go into the world. Uh, what exactly would you do if I free you? This one will roam. This one will see. This one will feed. 
But without me, the veil will grow weaker. More demons, more misery. You choose just one of my kind, or many. Tell me about Sophia Dryden. This one knows all, but will only talk after the tower lies broken. What am I destroying? The magics, all moving things, the very stone if you have the power. Something inside keeps my kind locked away. I feel like this is just a terrible idea <laughs> to help her out. Like, I get the, oh, well, it's just one or lots, but if we don't destroy it, then they're all trapped here. So it's lots, but they can't do shit. So it's probably for the best. So go fuck yourself, I guess. Then you are a fool! And you are dead, so, you know, who's really winning here? Whoa. Okay, that's quite a few people. Uh, <laughs> there's no way we can do this without hitting everyone. Fuck it! Oh shit! Liliana died again. Liliana is so fucking weak, man. She is the first to die every single time. When no one else dies, Liliana dies. Oh my god, hello. Oh, that's a lot. Warden Commander set. What's the set bonus? Bonus to health and spells or talents cost less, less to activate. And fuck me, that has like 50 stamina on it? Oh my goodness. Okay. I reckon that Alistair's gonna be happy. Unless he has better shit. I can't remember what Alistair actually has, but that looks sick. Okay, so Liliana doesn't have an injury. Nope. Good. Uh, but we need to do this off and on. Whoops. I wonder if she'd have survived if I hadn't right. done the, <laughs> the, the bomb in the middle of everyone. I didn't expect it to get anyone killed. I just thought it would knock them down a bit. It's done. Sophia Dryden's journal. 21 Ella Viesta. It is done. The nobles have thrown their lot in with Arland. Arland the snot-nosed man-child. Arland who did not walk till he was in his fifth year. Arland who had to be pried off his nursemaid's breast not two years ago. Or so it is whispered. The Tans and the Air Arls believe him to be a simpleton and easily led. But I have seen something in the boy's eye and it terrifies me. Ten Molio... Molio Riss. I watched the summer day processions from a room high in Fort Dracon. The regent has me for treason when my only guilt is of being true to my country and my heart. My guard's tongue was easily loosened with the gift of the ruby ring, and I'm told that the bands are fighting against my sentence. I shall pray, but not hope, that it will be anything but the gallows for me. Two for Ventus. The draught was like bitter fire, but I survived. Weep for me, for I survived. Would that they had made a clean end for me. I should have died a lady, the greatest of the Drydens, not live to become this nothing, this monstrous nothing, 19 matronales. Enough. I shall waste no more time with wretched womanish lamentation. Death would have been an, would have been easy, but fate saw fit to spare me, and I will seize upon this chance. The Grey Wardens are an army, and the old commander is weak, a wisp of a man. I will inspire the Wardens, and Arland will rue the day he spared my life. Okay. Interesting. Right, can we go through here now then? Yep. got a debuff on it. That was weird. Trap right ahead. Nice. 
That was weird. I don't know why she couldn't move. That she had no debuff on her. Avernus's tower. Ability Notes. This appears to be old research of the Mage Avernus. They detail a series of experiments in terse clinical handling. Day 32. The subject is not responding to the stimuli. Testing the pain threshold has uncovered nothing. Only three subjects are left. Day 82. If only I could reproduce last night's extraordinary success. Electricity is only a catalyst. The blood is the key. Day 97. Energy and blood. Repeated applications have duplicated the results. I conjecture that success can be induced alchemically. But there are no more subjects left. If only I had one more, or a dozen, the things I could do. Yeesh. Avernus's research notes detail his torture and experiments on several Grey Wardens. Not a fun time. Al alchemical concoction. This noxious potion appears to be the culmination of Avernus' horrific research. It promises to unlock the hidden potential of the tainted blood you drank during the joining. Uh Is this unlocking the blood mage specialization? Is that what this is doing? I mean, I'm kind of tempted. Because this one, it, like the previous time, it was Blood Mage Specialization. We had to uh, deal with a demon. And so I went with no. But if we're getting it for free? Ah, no, I shouldn't. I'm not a blood mage. Avernus's notes. The taint allows us to sense the darkspawn. The longer we survive with the taint in our blood, the more potent it becomes. Unfortunately, this corruption will eventually overwhelm the warden. Over time, it devours both mind and body, leaving nothing. But what if the spread of the corruption could be stopped or contained in some way? What if the Warden could become more powerful without having that power kill him? How great would that power be? Would it be enough to stop the demons? The joining ritual is crude. We take into ourselves the blood of the Darkspawn in the most obvious way. Most die from the corruption immediately. It is, after all, poison. There must be some way to refine the joining, isolate the true power that is found in Darkspawn blood, and leave behind the evil that kills us. I can feel the corruption starting to take its toll on my body. I must not succumb. There is too much work to be done. Through my magic, I've been able to slow its inevitable spread, but not stop it completely. I'm starting to hear things, even while awake. A voice more beautiful than any other that calls to me from the depths. In my dreams, I see the black city, and I am drawn towards it. There is something there, an answer to what this taint is. This taint that we share with the Darkspawn. Uh, right. That goes in there. That is not a door we can go through. Okay. I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration. Even now, the demons seek to replenish their numbers. 
Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? The old warden mage? You're still alive? Only just. I have only a short time left. Careful. This man has dabbled in matters forbidden by the Maker. He may look frail, but don't trust him. So the Maker told you that, did he? Short-sighted men have forbidden my research, not any god. <laughs> Enough. Why are you here? What is your intent? Uh... I want some answers. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. How have you survived? The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic. But there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. Tell me what happened here. What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead. As is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. Sophia's corpse may walk and talk, but she too is no more. How is Arland a tyrant? He ruled with fear and poison. His treachery pit noble against noble in terrible battle. We thought him a monster. We gathered allies to rebel. But the toll of years has erased our failure, hasn't it? It seemed so pressing then. But the kingdom lives on. What happened to the rebellion? Too many mouths to quiet. Even sorcery can only go so far. So we met with Tyrn Kuzland. With him on our side, we had a chance of victory. Instead, the King's Guard ambushed us. Commander Dryden and I barely escaped. You practice blood magic on the nobles? Of course, to nudge people to keep our secrets safe. Sophia should have let me nudge harder. Her scruples were her undoing. You had to know that summoning so many demons was foolhardy. Perhaps, but it was survival. For months, I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths of the Fade. That moment was a triumph of demonic law. Dozens of demons, called by my hand. But, with so many variables, I suppose, calculation errors were inevitable. Ugh. I was so close. Uh, you're to blame for all this. Some things you just don't do. From a warden, that means something. So tired, so old. Let me undo my greatest of mistakes. Let me cleanse this place. Then, then, I will accept whatever justice you feel I merit. Commander Dryden knew of the demons then? She gave the order. I would have summoned the demons anyway. Only under wardens can true magical research continue. A chance to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tevinter. Do you remember how that ended? The Black City? Darkspawn? Chantry lies told to subjugate the mages to keep them docile. How do you know the Chantry's wrong? And how do you know they are right? Their faith would have you swallow a great deal for small comfort. Hmm. Yes. Uh, Sophia's great-grandson brought me here. Levi, go ahead. Master Mage, uh, sir, my family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Do you have any proof that Sophia was a hero? The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. Ah, that's from him. <laughs> and you are a Dryden. The cosmos has a sense of humor. You're cool? He was but a boy when he entered the tunnels below the peak. His heart pure, his character certain. In dreams, I gave him the keys he would need. He would be my deliverance. Uh, just answer Levi's question. Your great-great-grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still we lost. We fought against a tyrant, you know, so full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. But proof? There's none to be had. Sorry, Levi. I... Uh, I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. What was the purpose of your experiments? 
to stop the demonic tide, to correct the miscalculations of the past. Blood magic comes from demons. They could counter every bit of law I knew. But the darkspawn taint, that is alien to them. And it has power. What power? The Wardens use it merely to sense darkspawn. A triviality. My research has discovered so much more. Hinted at even greater heights. This knowledge could not only save Soldier's Peak, with it the Wardens could grow even more powerful. Only a monster would sacrifice his fellow Wardens. Can you teach me what you've learned? You've already read my research. But in time, with the proper materials, I could learn so much more. Only a monster would sacrifice his fellow Wardens. It was necessary. It was vital. The few meagre years of life they would have spent trapped in this tower were nothing compared to the greater goal. I gave their death meaning. Yes, so be it. My only request, if justice or vengeance drive you, stay your hand until the demons are dealt with. Hmm, until the demons are dead, we are allies. That will do for now. We must go to the Great Hall. There, I will repair the damage I caused so long ago. There will be peril. The demons will fight us every step of the way. Come. Alright. Oh my goodness. History of Soldier's Peak, Chapter 4. Uh, you learned about the establishment of the base and its founder's last days. The records state that Commander may have built secrets into the base, may have hidden something important. You found the clues, but where do they lead? Uh, there's a new character thing? Who's the new character? Uh, is there one for that guy we just met? Oh, Sophia Dryden. Sophia Dryden is Ferelden's light and her most brilliant jewel. Nothing on this earth can ever quench her fire. Alessa Sophia Dryden was the young Arlen's rival for the throne of Ferelden. Dryden was a strong and charismatic leader, with much support from the Banor. When Arlen finally won the crown, Dryden refused to relent. She pushed her claim, was caught, and accused of treason. Her sympathisers continued to support her, however. In order to appease them, Dryden was spared execution and forced to join the Grey Wardens instead. Dryden survived the joining and dazzled the Grey Wardens at Soldier's Peak with her leadership skills and charm. She eventually rose through the ranks to become the Warden Commander of Ferelden. Before Commander Dryden, the Grey Wardens were seen as a relic of an older time, and an unnecessary drain on the Noble's coffers. Dryden, though, with her political connections, reinvigorated the Wardens and rapidly increased their numbers. In the meantime, King Arlen proved himself a devious king, willing to go to brutal lengths to silence his opponents. Arlen's reign of terror grew worse with each passing year, and some of the bands approached Commander Dryden in desperation, begging her to intercede. She agreed, and thus was the rebellion against King Arlen born. Arlen learned of the rebellion and took steps to end it. He publicly suspended all tithing to the Grey Wardens and declared that they were no longer welcome in Ferelden. Some of the Wardens, mindful that they were supposed to remain politically neutral, felt disgraced by Dryden's involvement in Ferelden politics and left her side even as the King's forces lay siege to Soldier's Peak. The siege took months and ended with the death of Sophia Dryden. Addendum. King Arlen had driven the Grey Wardens from Ferelden, and after the siege of Soldier's Peak the base was abandoned. When Soldier's Peak was finally entered again for the first time in centuries, it was discovered that Sophia Dryden had been possessed by a demon. F. Boop, boop. History of Soldier's Peak, Chapter 4. There was one mystery, however, that persisted, and this mystery perplexed even Commander Halwick herself. When Commander Asturian went to his calling in the Deep Roads, he did not have his, in his hand his sword, Asturian's might, forged for him by Dwarven Smiths and presented to him upon the completion of Soldier's Peak. Nor did he pass the sword on to his successor, or to any other Grey Warden. While some maintained that Asturian had simply destroyed the sword in his dotage, others believed he had stashed it away somewhere in Soldier's Peak. One young Warden claimed that Asturian had once grabbed him by the shoulders, fixed him with an unwavering gaze, and said, The sword will remind you what it is to be a Warden. Speak your oath to me, when the shadows come. You must speak the words. What this was supposed to mean was never made clear. Alright, so we can get this sword. 
from somewhere, but uh, fuck knows where exactly. <laughs> but it is possible. We will be able to find it in this joint somewhere. Anything up here? Nope. Uh, mm -hmm. Liliana. Just like you wanted. So is it, where is it that he's wanting us to go? Was it, there wasn't another exit in here that I missed. Oh, wait, what was this? Oh, no, we read that. Uh, what was... Yeah, there wasn't another way out. Was there... Uh... No. So he must have just gone back this way? Strolling, strolling, strolling. Yeah, keep strolling, strolling, strolling. Come on, keep strolling, strolling, strolling. <laughs> I wondered if anything would actually happen, but no. We must act quickly. The demons are clawing on the gates. The veil must be closed. What do I do? I will unravel the summoning circles I drew so long ago. Waves of spirits and demons may come through. <laughs> will them. come through. I will begin. First, I must summon the magical energies. I feel them. They're coming. Oh boy. A big thing. I'll save my save my spells for uh, bigger things, I guess. Like Raven Shades. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Oh boy, desire demon. Over. The veil is strong now. Stronger, at least. I said I'd submit to judgment. And so I shall. Can I be left to experiment in peace? Uh. You must atone. Research ways to help wardens, ethically. With what time I have left, I will do this. It may take months or years for my research to reach fruition. When it does, I will send for you. Thank you for this, Warden. You've done it, Warden. Soldier's Peak is safe again. 
That old geezer Avernus deserves the gallows, if you ask me, but people will do queer things to survive. But if he does the proper research, without the sacrifices and blood magic and all, maybe he'll turn up something good. Maybe. But there was no proof to redeem my family. Uh... Your grandmother I'm not sure about, but you're a good man. Well, I owe. Uh, thanks, Warden. For so long, I was focused on the past, on answers. But I think I would have been better off had I stayed at home. Enough of that, though. I find myself at a loss. You've got a whole fortress now. I suppose I should start plying my trade again. Where will you go? I might use the peak as a base of operations. So many bandits about, but none would dare come here. Nice place to store trade goods. You, of course, will get a sizable discount. I will miss this place. It was infested with spirits and undead, but it had no birds. Not a single one of those malicious, spiteful little demons. <laughs> cool. Got a cheeky level. Uh, boop. I could get one of these. Not particularly interested in this thing. I think Arcane Warrior is probably the one that I'm most interested in. Do do, do. grab that. Uh, right. What do we want now? What were we What were we working on down here? We were going for Crushing Prison, I guess. The caster encloses a target in a collapsing cage of tele telekinetic force, inflicting spirit damage for the duration and possibly shattering those that have been petrified or frozen solid. That's a huge... 64 activation, though. Do I even care? <laughs> like, I've got these things. I'm not even using them. Like... It costs all my mana to go through my normal rotation, which is, like, really good damage and AoE and everything. And then I just don't have the mana to use this stuff. Uh... Hmm. I think this one was supposed to be good, people were saying. Completely drain enemy spellcasters of mana. That could definitely be helpful. Maybe we should start working towards that. Sure. It'll take a while, but we'll get there. Alright, I guess that's Soldier's Peak mostly done then. We've still got a side quest to do around here, and uh, maybe a little more exploration, but we can do that in the next part. For now, that is where we're going to leave it for today. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Dragon Age Origins. Thanks for watching. See you then.